Let's take a moment and think about the features that certain individuals enjoy. Certain features that only affect a person's well-being than others. Like patience, for example. It might be a big advantage to you, but others might not take a bigger look at it like you do. And certain features prosper a person's soul like contentment. These features affect a person's confidence and courage, but others might not care much about it. However, there are other traits and features that might affect a person and others. These traits might be beneficial if you use them right. However, if you didn't, you might be small in people's eyes. These traits are rare to find and very hard to acquire. So, what do you think is the feature if a person assumes and implies that he has, other people will think and know that he doesn't. Well, if someone talks that uh, or says about himself that he's really kind, uh, I think he may have the opposite. He may be a stingy person because a kind person never advertises about himself. Well, uh, unfortunately, a lot of people uh, claim to be what they're not, actually, and it's, um, it's uh, wrong. It's a wrong way. So it's, uh, the best judge would be yourself, obviously, to, to try and understand whether that person is telling the truth or not. I wouldn't know, so I couldn't make a judgment. But I'm always um, suspicious of someone who says, I am generous. And why would they have to say they're generous? Why not just be generous? Um, if somebody says that he's very, for example, modest, as an example, then I would be very suspicious about the honesty of his answer. It's very ordinary for a person to describe himself as a patient or an honest man. But when that very same person says that I'm a modest man, it's hard for people to cope with that and accept it. It might be awkward as well. And they might actually lose trust in him. You know what? <laughs> I don't think I like this place. I want to go somewhere where it reaches my levels and standards because, <laughs> let's face it, I'm, uh, I'm way smarter than you guys, I'm way richer than you guys, because these poor people we have here, <laughs> meh, you know, and uh, the way they're dressed, sheesh. Does anyone like to be around that kind of person? I mean, you have to keep up with that feature the whole time. You will feel downgraded and you will lose trust in yourself from him. And imagine if you were that person. Do you think society will accept you for who you are? Or people will just laugh at you for what you are saying that you are? Not every single person is big-headed. But sometimes when a person has many achievements and certain people idolize him, he would think that he's better than others and that's natural sometimes but to a certain period of time after a while if that feeling is not controlled he might end up as being a big-headed person sometimes people unintentionally become big-headed I mean when you have a lot of achievements and people idolize you you might think that you're slightly better than others and that feeling is natural to a certain period of time but after that if you don't control that feeling you might actually have that feature in you. You might be a big-headed person. We mustn't forget that people are equal. We might differ in levels of thinking, achievements. Some might be lower than you, some might be way higher than you. But to actually measure people, levels of money, levels of family name, or uh, maybe job title, that is totally wrong. Because in the end, people ascend due to modesty, and due to people accepting him for who he is and people descend due to being big-headed and treating people as if they are better than them. Sometimes a certain celebrity or a governor is loved by people and is very popular. Is it because he has a power or is it because of his status or is it because he is modest with people and not big-headed? There's an old saying is that there's a person that walked all the way up to a mountain and when he saw people, he saw them really, really tiny. And he thought that, oh, these people are very insignificant to me. He doesn't know that these people would think the same way about him. Just like he sees them as very small and tiny, it's the same way as they see him. And that applies the same way on big-headed people. Just like they see people as small and insignificant to them, he doesn't know that they resent him and they think the same way. Modesty is one trait that every single prophet had and it's one of the best traits. Prophet Moses, peace be upon him, was a shepherd 
Our Prophet Zachary, peace be upon him, was a carpenter. And our Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, used to sew his own clothes and footwear. We are not downgrading these professions. However, we are saying that these prophets used to be the best people of their time, yet they worked with their own and bare hands. It was also recited that Aisha, whom God's pleased with, Prophet Muhammad's wife, that Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, used to sleep on a mat of leaves of the palm trees, of the dates palm trees, and that when he woke up in the morning, all of those textures uh, from the mat used to be on his body. Let's just think about the modesty that our Prophet had. Why don't we try to be like him? There was a story that a man came to Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, and he kept glorifying him and praising him, telling him that he's the best. And Prophet Muhammad replied with a very simple reply. He told him, take it easy, take it easy. I was born from a woman Quraysh that eats like everyone else. So Prophet Muhammad replied with that reply because he is modest. Also, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, says that the more a God servant becomes modest, the more God ascends him. So, in the end, in this society we deal with a lot of people, directly or indirectly. For example, the people that we deal with directly every day are maybe a social worker, a banker, that we, when you complete the transaction with them, we thank them for it. But have we ever thought about thanking the people that we don't work with directly? Like for example, the cleaners on the street or workers at a construction site. Have we ever thought of giving them the appreciation that they deserve? I don't know, give them a calling card, a gift card, the option is yours. So let's gather up and make the society a modest society.